Hello and welcome in. In this video, I'm going to be going over the smithy hammers, upgrading your mine into a pulley mine, and the coal mine. You will need the following skills. Mechanics level 2, maintenance level 2, metalworking level 5, carpentry level 8. The following books will be required. You will need the steel working textbook, welding textbook, bronze textbook, coal working textbook, copper working textbook, iron working textbook, lead working textbook, stone working textbook, and the geology textbook. Some of the items that will be required are the propane torch, welding hose, and a welding gas tank, plus a measuring tape. Let's go ahead and start getting into the video. Let's start off with the copper working textbook. You need the copper ore for this, the tin working textbook, and a tin ore. The copper ore plus the tin ore will give you the bronze ore. You also need the bronze working textbook. And finally, you need the iron working textbook, which will be able to give you iron ore. You're gonna want to start with the copper hammer first, which is a copper ingot, sturdy stick, and some tongs, and a regular hammer. As you progress forward through them, you will just replace the ore and the sticks as you go along. For each one of the recipes, they're practically the same except for the ingots are switched out. In total, in order to get up to the iron hammer, you will need four sticks. The hammers go in this related order. Copper, then bronze, then iron. Now that you have your hammer, let's go ahead and stop here and go ahead and read the welding textbooks. So that way we can get the propane torch together. You will also want to have the steel working textbook. Go ahead and read that because there's recipes that will be needed. Now that you're done reading the books, we're gonna go ahead and assemble the welding torch, which is the propane torch, welding hose, and a welding gas tank. We're gonna go ahead and start making our iron rods, which are gonna take 12 iron ingots, four iron ore equals one iron rod, and we will also need one iron rod to make a iron ring. The iron ring plus a rod will give you the steel wheel. And from the steel wheel, we will be able to make our pulley. Our pulley will require us to have the iron wheel plus an iron ore plus 13% of our tank to give us the iron pulley. Hopefully you have a pallet of steel pipes because you'll be able to unpack them and get a total of 12 steel pipes plus a thick rope. In order to do the upgrade on your mine, you will need two punching bag stands, which will require two pipes a piece, which comes out to a total of four. In order to do the upgrade to your mine, you will need a wooden bucket, two thick rope work gloves, the two punching bag stands, the welding torch, and gas tank, welder mask, and one of the following iron, steel, or wooden pulley. If you want to make things easier on yourself, you're going to want to make two pulley mines. And in order to start the process of at least upgrading one of them, you're going to need four wooden beams. This is mainly to upgrade your mine into a coal mine so that makes it easier to get your fuel that which will be required for other things later. You'll have to make the plan for the coal mine which is the coal working textbook, geology textbook, the stone working textbook, the measuring tape, pen or pencil plus a piece of paper will give you the plan for the coal mine. Once you have the plan for the coal mine, go ahead and read it. You will also need one auger plus the four beams, work gloves, the pick, and a mine with a pulley and a shovel. And you'll be able to go ahead and upgrade your mine and go ahead and re-anchor it after you've done so. It's important to have the coal mine because you're going to be able to get lots of coal, which is a lot of fuel, because that's what you're going to be doing most of your time with at the smelter or the blast furnace later on. It's best to just go into the crafting menu and do it from there. The reasoning behind having a coal mine and a regular mine with a pulley is a lot of items in Hydrocraft will require you to have some type of ore or make an item that isn't found in the world. So it's very important to have two different mines in order to do everything related in Hydrocraft. Now you can get away with just using one, but I don't really recommend it as trying to get coal or making coal from going chopping down trees. It takes much longer than just mining it and turning it into charcoal. Hope you found the video helpful, and until next time, sleep well, sleep tight, don't catch me in your bed tonight.